Hi, Esther here at the Utah State Kaysville Research Orchard, and I'm going to be going over the second part of this video series, um, soil biological tests. So actually, I found that Solvita soil respiration is actually the most accurate, easy test that you can do in the field. So we'll just quickly look at this. These are the little cups, and these are actually, but they've been previously done, just so you can get an idea. These are the indicators. So Solvita measures CO2 in this, so that's a measurement of how much respiration is going on in your soil. So it can be a really good indicator of soil microbial life, which is really important in terms of nutrient turnover. That's especially important for farmers who are adding a lot of organic material back to their orchard in order to maintain nutrients from that. So organic farmers, other people who are trying to help the overall soil structure in their soils. So to give you, show you what this looks like. This is the paddle and a yellow um, color is a sign of high respiration. So that's typically a good sign. Unless you have really pale soils and not a lot of organic matter in your soils, it could mean that your soils are burning up the organic matter faster than it's replenishing. Um, but otherwise, it's typically a good sign if uh, organic matter is something that you're regularly adding to your soil. Some other examples. On this paddle, you can see that there's some yellow happening, but there's a lot of also blue going on. And these are kind of old, so these aren't really that accurate at this point, but I just wanted to show you an example of what they look like. The bluer they are, the lower the respiration. So the lower of respiration you have in your soil, the less um, organisms that are active and, and turning over nutrients in your soil. So how you do these is kind of just how it looks. So you fill these little cups with the soil from the management plot that you wanted to test to that line and you don't need to sieve it. Uh, it's best if, if you can take out, you know, large roots, rocks, you know, that's good, you know, to take out as much as you can. Otherwise, it doesn't, it, none of the instructions say to sieve the soil. You wanna, then you open one of these, you put a paddle inside, you close it, you wanna make sure you close it pretty tight because it's, it wants to measure, it needs to measure the CO2 just within this container, not from outside. And you let it sit for 24 hours and you probably wanna have it at room temperature so don't leave it outside. And then after 24 hours you open it and you compare the paddle to the Solvita color chart and you decide what it is.